Right, recording started. Right, we're we looking at pictures at this stage, and what I would like to share with you, and we're going to do a stephmato class portrait study again today. But I would like to show you here is actually what I've done, and let me just see if I can get, I'll go all the way up. All right, right at the top, um, I went and Googled uh, for images for David Kuyper. Kuyper. Uh, David, like David, which that's what we call him, and he was one of our Kumani son people that passed away, I think, the year before last. If I'm not mistaken, he was one of the leaders there. And I believe there's a book out about him as well. The lady with the picture that's sitting on the left side of the screen did a book of all these trips, what he did and all that. The picture at the bottom here is actually here with one of the brown military uniforms that was on as part of the battle that we had years and years ago, more than, oh my, 20 years, 20 odd, 30 odd years ago up in the northern parts of Africa and, and, and Namibia. Uh, but uh, they were the Bushman people, Kumani's son, or the, the sun people, what we call. That's people that normally live off the land. And David, uh, funny enough, his surname, Kraper, somebody like, like um, if you leopard crawl or you, or you crawl to, to approach an animal, most probably where the, where the, na where the surname came from. So we're going to start playing with, with a picture from him. And I'm looking specifically for features where there is a lot of facial features in. Um, so you can, if I will, um, if I find the book, I will send, drop a link in on the um, Skype group of where you can actually find the, the book about him. Um, but yeah, interesting people, people from nature, nature. Um, wish I knew him, did not have that opportunity uh, and I think his son, if I'm not mistaken, has taken over from him as leader for the tribe um, if, I, if I'm correct, he's actually the guy that's now uh, fighting for some, for some land and stuff that they got from our very good South African government so let's leave it at that and I'm going to take it over from there. Going to go back into my embed program. I'm going to minimize the screen and open my embed screen. And we're going to start moving over to studio so that we can do some digitizing there in studio. So let's see where how quick the screen changes. It helps, should be fairly all right at this stage. School is back in South Africa, back on. So we should have kids back in school and all that, so that shouldn't be a problem for us. Right, first of all what we do is we go and set our screen up. And uh, screen size that I have here is a massive screen size, so let me go and change that quickly. And take it down to our favorite that we normally work, which is Genomi. My Genomi hoop, uh, 140 by 200, that should basically be fine. And say apply. And then go to image image import <coughs> and let's see if I can find the image quickly under computer under D drive under embed classes um, embed classes there we go and let's see if I can just pick up the photo I've put some photos down there oh I've even got your president there as well if somebody wants to do a picture of the president of the United States we can do a stuff march of him as well but there's David Krepers. There's one photo of him there. Let's see if I go down some more. That one, the sun is quite nice. And that's the one that we saw just now. Okay, I'm going to rather use the one at the top. So that's the one that we'll use. And zoom that in into place. All right, <clears throat> so I've added my picture to it. At this stage, I'm not going to do much to the picture, except now what I will do is I'm going to go and add the border around the picture so that we can digitize all the way up to the end. That's one of the things that we will, will that I will do now. And then we'll start playing with the color and the images so that we can bring brighten or, or make some, some of the stuff a little bit less visible. So first of all, image. Uh, background filters, edit image window, 
go to edit image window and go and add my five millimeters of uh, space around the picture which is actually not part of the design it's just working space and apply that so that will give us now that space that we can work you see the picture now will have a five millimeter area around it now what why is this important is this when we basically work with digitizing tool and I've select my digitizing tools my mouse in the gray section shows a white mouse as soon as I move over into the beige area onto the photo the mouse changed to be a black mouse which means I can digitize with it at that point in time okay so let's go back and then leave that first uh, so I've got the photo, I've got the edging around it. I'm going to go and see if I can enhance the photo a little bit, if possible. So I'm going to go to Image, Image Background Filters. And just move that away. And see what I can do here. Okay, right. First of all, brightness. So let's start with brightness. If I change the brightness of the photo, and I move my photo to minus, to my minus colors there, you'll see the total photo gets darker so now I've taken it, my brightness down and let's go and look to contrast and see if I can bring some of my contrast up because I would like to bring some more color in more details in the process if I can okay that's 10 up there that's minus 4 Okay, that comes better there. That's all right. Saturation. Bringing a little bit more red into the picture. All right. Background, I'm not going to bother about it at this stage. So what, what with regards to the background, I will do a blue, blue background in shading. And that will be just to have some blue background at the back end there. The other parts at the back, the landscaping section, we can do that or we can actually just go and digitize uh, the, the picture part and just ignore the rest, which might be a better call. Now, why don't I crop my picture at this stage? Okay, let's say, say apply, that's fine. Why don't I crop my picture and cut it out and crop it? I found that as soon as I crop the picture inside Embed, it basically fiddles around with my with my design and my sizes and stuff so at this stage I'll rather leave it there if I need to crop a picture I'll rather crop the picture outside Embed with one of the tools there one of the uh, software tools like paintbrush or something like that and crop it there and then bring it in and I'll have a better option like that so this stage we're leaving it as is that's fine I don't need to move it any direction I can start playing with it so Let's go and look at our digitizing the background, the blue sky area at the top there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a full stitch, working from the top corner, and changing it to a straight line, go to the top corner that side, coming down. And then I'm going to go down into this section at the bottom. And I'm not going to use um, the embed, the embed stigmata stitch there. I'm just going to go back and use my normal straight full stitch. And while I'm there, I can now, I've just zoomed in there, I can immediately go and take all my zigzag off. I don't want any zigzags. I can change my full stitch to be a different full type. I can change my density for the section immediately or up to at least let's go and say 14 might be a little bit let's go for 12 for a 12 and I'm going to leave my stitch direction at 0 in this case that's fine so I've changed that to to a bend key now I'm going to just go and I'm going to go into the face and see if I can actually 
work just alongside the face part of the body and then we'll do the others when we go around. Okay, clothing, I don't think what we'll, not sure what we'll do there yet. But at this stage, I'm just going very close to the edge of the face. And it's the first part that we do, so therefore, I'll have this as just stitching there. We just go in. And go over it and see how I can get as close as possible to our stitching and then I can go in I don't have to really actually done something now I shouldn't have done but it's fine uh, what I've done is I actually went, because this is the background, it's not the, not the facial part that I'm working with. I can actually just work with a straight feature that will go there because that will go in underneath the head when I go and do this the Marto part. So, we go down. So there we go, get close to it. And then just go below the ear and back the the natural landscape part I can do and I think that might be something that we should do in in bar too as well and then have a look and see what we get from there right this side I'm going to go around just bend that up and then go across this I should go all the way to the side and then go all the way back up again and then I'm going to copy this, so I'm going to go shift, and then say close edges, just take that note out slightly because I saw it was not there, close edges, there we go. So I've got the blue sky part now, and with the blue sky, sky section done at zero degrees, I can now ask it to generate stitches for me. And it should generate stitches if I look at that. I can see that my stitching at this stage, the edge that I've got on might be a problem. And I can see it's on both sides. So before I do anything, let's go to parameters. And the edge that's on at the bottom there is this edge that's inside the, the design. So I want to take that off. I don't want it there. And it says complete row... Density above 14, 